All right, so I've already done my eyebrows and you know, I'm not gonna be able to talk and concentrate on that. So I asked some of you to send in questions or topics or whatever on my Snapchat. If you don't have my Snapchat, just point your phone over here and you can get my code and everything. The question I got was, where would you want to live eventually? Kenya or the States? Um, you guys, hold on. Let me just get myself organized. Personally, I just think <laughs> just living somewhere else is just so your heart will never belong to one place I don't want to sound dramatic or whatever but like honestly you make friends or you meet someone you know <laughs> in the States and eventually you come back here you miss them you go back there you miss your family you miss your friends so it's like there's never you'll never be satisfied and I think it's like really <laughs> really sad but eventually I don't know that time will tell everything definitely happens for a reason god is gonna he he's already planned out everything so if i don't stay in the states it's for a reason if i come back to kenya you know that's also for a good reason too so like you guys i'm so confused i didn't think that having a camera on when you're doing makeup is actually extremely confusing okay the second question is what is your youtube goal Goal and story. Okay, what is your YouTube goal and story? Um, it's funny the way YouTube started really. Um, I was in this branded entertainment class and one of the things that we were meant to do was analyze social media and see how people respond to different things and so we had to make three videos in about three months, I think. I decided to make a YouTube video and I was like, you know what, I'm just gonna make something about college. You know, if you guys have watched my first video, oh my god, I can't even watch it now. I feel like it's so, not not me, but I feel like I was like, my head was somewhere else. Yeah, I mean, that's how it started. And I remember I got, I never expected the amount of views I'd get for that one video, but um, yeah, I mean YouTube is really a hobby for me um, in terms of goals Honestly, I just really want to make content where people can learn from my mistakes I really like giving advice <laughs> for me. That's why I like YouTube. It's a place where people can um, Find common interests like right now my favorite youtuber is like One of my favorite youtubers. I don't think I have one specific one the Didia Dinga, she is so cool she is so funny and she's so i don't know there's something about her that i really like being on youtube you can definitely tell how much work someone else puts in she can have like two videos in a week and those videos are quality is so great and she can she's just interesting in general it only takes me probably one video or two videos for me to be like actually this person's really cool like i really like this person yeah i mean being on youtube definitely i mean you're just really opening yourself not everyone is gonna like you okay people will just find reasons not to like you um people will find lots of reasons to love you it's really a really vulnerable space but i mean you know i genuinely enjoy creating content i hope you guys do too i really i really love engaging with you guys i didn't think it would be such amazing motivation just the other day actually um a girl messaged me about like some relationship thing she was going through and i just told her my opinion and you know like she was like oh i didn't even look at it like that and sure it's not like oh i'm going to change the world but if i make one or two people's day or something like it's really satisfying um so yeah I, that's something that youtube made me discover about myself is that i actually generally like helping people whatever way i can really there's a reason why i started youtube i don't know what the reason is yet whatever the reason is right now i'm enjoying the space i'm in whether or not people are watching my videos or not i'm still learning um a skill or two Black Mirror. Let's just talk about that for a second. Okay, I've only watched two episodes, right? But it is so scary, you guys. 
whoever was watched season three, episode one, like I was so mind blown and the type of place social media can go. It's crazy. Like I really hope social media doesn't get to that place because huh, that was that was scary. Um, another question. Let me get back down. What's it like being in a relationship when you're in college? Hmm. <laughs> um, I really think it depends on the person. Um, personally, my plan wasn't to come to college to date. I actually was in a relationship when I was in college, like when I first got in. And you know, long distance, whatever, things just don't work out. So, you know, I was just like, okay, you know, this relationship's over. So let me just try and like, focus on me and focus on my career. Y'all, I look so crazy. So, um, you know, dating in college might not be for everybody. Um, I wasn't looking, um, long story short. Um, yeah, so I just think it really depends on the person. You wouldn't want to date someone and, you know, just date for the sake because that's also being really selfish. Um, just don't date for the sake because someone might end up really liking you or wanting to take things to the next level and you're just like, oh no, I was just dating to date. It's really up to you. Um, don't force anything. Don't try to resist anything if you like a person. Because I, I remember trying to resist because I'm like, I shouldn't be liking anybody. I just came out of a relationship. But like, he was so great and so sweet that eventually I was just like, you know what? <laughs> Fine, like, you're, you, you came into my life for a reason. So yeah, if you want to date, date. That's just my advice. Like, if you don't want to, just don't. Don't. It's just being self-aware. So I think being self-aware is like extremely, extremely important. No one can tell you what's not for you right now. I've had so many people say, you know, college should be the time where you find yourself and you date around. And then people say, no, college is a time when you find your husband. Blah blah blah. Like, really, don't. There's no formula. So. You do you. I never start with my eyes, so I'm like really panicking because I'm like, why does this look so messy? Anyway, I'm just gonna clean up right now. 2016 has been one insane year. I don't know if it's a thing where I'm getting older, so I'm learning more and more and more about things, but I think like, I think this is a year I'll definitely remember. What about you guys? What what did you guys learn? I want to know. I feel like I know a lot of people that were like, yep, this year was definitely one of those um, years. Anyway, um, it's been it's been a good year, you know. Overall, um, I definitely think being. Having the mind, having the mentality that everything happens for a reason definitely, definitely helps in so many ways. Kenya has been fun for me so far. I've definitely, you know, like all of my close friends are in Kenya, I don't really. I have friends in the States, but definitely my best friends are all here. And it's been fun to make YouTube videos, even though I thought I'd make more. <laughs> But um, yeah, I mean, it has been busy, uh, but you know, 2017 is a different year. But yeah, I mean, in the future, what type of videos would you guys want to see? It's really important for me to understand what you guys like and what you guys are interested in. Another question I got is whether I will be doing recipe videos in the future um yes and no um i really want to try and find a way to make like maybe give you guys the knowledge i have on cooking because it's not something i've really i've studied or anything it's just um things i've learned along the way that i would love to share with you guys but in terms of doing recipes and stuff it might be extremely rare um and also it's really hard um 
to do cooking videos on your own. <laughs> I feel like you need a whole crew. That's why I really respect the cooking channels like Miss Mandy. Like her recipes are so great and the way she films and all that, it's really cool as well. But yeah, so I mean, I will try. <laughs> you guys, just give me a second. I can't, I can't, I can't talk and do this. There's no way. I think I've gone too ham with the highlight, but it's all good. Alright, I'm almost done. Thank God. Ow. Ooh, I feel like I've taken forever to do everything. I thought I was gonna be done in like 15 minutes. It's taken me like half an hour. Alright, finishing touches. <sighs> I probably put too much, but it just felt so good. So yeah, I guess I am done. Um, I'm just gonna put on my lashes. Uh, definitely cannot do that on camera because I am pretty sad about it. Show you guys my whole outfit and I hope you guys enjoy this video. And actually, I guess this is probably my last video of the year. I hope you guys have a great holiday. I hope it's filled with people that you love, happiness, lots and lots and lots of food. And yeah, I will see you guys next year, actually. <laughs>